Hello Taurus, so welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for being here, Taurus. So we are taking a look at your update. So let's go ahead and get started. I was gonna call it a November update, but it is just too powerful to just be about November. There is a lot of energy shifting and changing. Big, big changes are taking place this month, but Whenever you're finding this reading, it is timeless, so it's going to be for whenever you're finding this reading. Okay, so <laughs> take it, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Check your other placements to get a full picture, and if you haven't yet subscribed and join my community here, please do. If you like my style of readings, if you want your own private reading, that information is always below in the description box. All right, Taurus. What, what's going on for you? Oh, you got the same thing that Aries did. Eight of Wands. To make it even better, we have the Knight of Swords. Fast moving changes are coming in for you, Taurus. It's like one day life looks this way and the next day life looks totally different. Get ready to be very, very busy. So whatever's been holding you back is like this is like the racehorse being held back behind the gate and the gate opens and we're on. All right, so there's a lot of, you know, very fast moving energy coming at you. This could be a lot in business. This could be a lot of communication. This could be in a connection. This could be just a lot of really positive changes because, oh my gosh, Taurus, let's face it, you've had some rough times for a long time. And now everything is changing and everything is happening in fast motion. You don't see this coming, Taurus. You don't see this coming. Like, seriously, you don't see this coming. Like you're about to meet your person or you're about to receive another job or you've got something that just literally opens the floodgates and you're off and running in a new direction where you felt stuck. It's exciting stuff going on here. You have an end, I just saw the Ten of Swords, an end of a very difficult cycle, you know? Pluto is l officially leaving Capricorn on, I want to say, the 19th of November at the time of recording this. You know, that's coming up. And so that could be why everybody has these big shifts and changes, because Pluto and Capricorn for like, what, 15, 16, 17 years, means there's been one challenge after another for all those years. So you may literally feel like you have been held back for 15, 17 years. You've had one challenge after another. You've had some really dark times and now it's like that energy is shifting. And so we've also got the 1111 portal coming up. We also have a full moon that's very powerful right in the middle of all of this and Mercury going in retrograde too at the end of the month or the 19th. I don't remember, but there is a lot of changes taking place. Here is the King of Wands and the Chariot. We have another card of movement, unexpected movement, two energies of kings. You're stepping into your power. So whatever is shifting and changing for you, it's like it's bringing in something that you have asked for. It's bringing in something that the universe is delivering to you. And it's like it changes your life. And I don't want to sound hypey, but I'm looking at three very fast moving energy changes here. For some of you, this is going to happen within eight days of watching this reading, which I think is right around that, at the time of recording this, is right around that time when Pluto, I think Pluto, is that's the shift that happens for you. So I want to say the days leading up to the full moon and the days leading from the full moon, there's something big happening in that time. And I think that's that time of Pluto as well. I'm not an astrologer, but if you are an astro, if you if you know astrology, if you study astrology, and you know a whole lot more than I do, I would love to hear from you in the comments, um, because obviously you can tell us more than I can, because I don't I don't know astrology, so I just know what I have learned, what's going on, what's happening with the energies, but it's something is shifting and putting you in your power like seriously in your power. This is your energy, but you're also taking on the energy of fire too. It's like you are done. <laughs> you're done with the way things were and you're taking on this energy of fire where you're following your fire, you're following your passion. You are taking no 
or you're not taking no for an answer, you are blazing through all the obstacles, all the blocks. You're blazing through and you're finding your success in whatever whatever it is that you have been holding dear to you. This could be in love, this could be business, this could be um, a move. This could literally be anything. Where have you felt held back in Taurus? Let's see. We've got another king here, and we've got the emperor. You are seriously calling in all of your power from all four corners of the earth, <laughs> and you're up-leveling in your life. You're tired of the way that things have been, and so you're making some changes. You're following what lights you up with this Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, you're taking your fire. <laughs> You are stepping into your highest version of yourself. You're stepping into the authority and the power and you're calling back your power and you're standing in that power and embracing that power and like there's nothing to stop you now. This shift that takes place is seriously changing your life because it brings you courage, it brings you confidence, it brings you, I don't know, there's something here that it's like you get new ideas and you act on them. Nothing is holding you back anymore. Nothing is holding you back anymore. And it's all coming in by divine time. So, you know, the planetary alignments, they really do affect us. That energy really does affect us. Pluto being in Capricorn all these years has been one thing after another. Dark moments, <laughs> hurts, just challenges, frustrations, one no after another, one block after another, just things that just have been very uncomfortable. All of that is changing and it is moving into Aquarius. And it's all by divine design that the things that are, are happening for you are, it's in alignment with all of that. And so it's, this card is the karma card in this deck. It's the judgment card. The judgment card is second chances. It is releasing the past and rebirthing into the new version of you, like your butterfly coming out of the cocoon. You're coming out of the cocoon in your highest version of yourself here with this emperor. And it's all by divine design. And so I feel like you are about to, and maybe you've already started making decisions in this, you know, in this power energy and choices to make changes in your life. Maybe you already have started that, but what was I gonna say? I was gonna say that your life and the things that are in front of you, they don't look anything like what you have been through, especially in the last 15 or 17 years. You are literally stepping into your star energy. This is a glow, this is Aquarius, you know? I feel like this is a confirmation that what I'm talking about with Pluto going into Aquarius is absolutely confirmation that that is the big change that is happening for you. When Pluto shifts into Aquarius, you shift into your power in a bigger way. And like the way that you see the world is changed. The way that you view things, your choices and your decisions, everything is different. You are making changes that literally change your life. It's like you wake up one day and you put the clothes of someone else on because you've decided I'm going to be this person today and for the rest of my life. <laughs> and that confidence that you get from stepping into that higher version of yourself, it puts you in the spotlight. It, it, it magnetizes success to you. It magnetizes love to you. You've got so much positive energy here and forward movement. Like I can't even believe it. <laughs> we have a brand, we have you committing to a brand new path. And I feel like that's literally you waking up and saying, I'm going to be a different person from now on. I'm going to think different. I'm going to act different. I'm going to wear different clothes. I'm going to, maybe you're making yourself over and you look different too. But whatever it is, it's like it empowers you. It empowers you and it changes your life. It puts confidence <laughs> with the strength card. I'm, I'm being serious. It puts you in this place of confidence. You feel confident. You feel different. 
and you're going after your dreams and you're not letting anything stop you. Okay, what did I say? Love and money, it's all here. You're coming into alignment with what is destined for you because this transit, it shifts the energy. You can think clearer, you can feel different, you can choose different, but also it's something that you know, you're know you choosing on the inside of you. You're, you're done with the way that, that things have been and you're, you're making choices to be like, I don't care who I have to walk away from or what I have to walk away from. Anything that doesn't serve me, I'm done with all of that and I'm moving in a new direction towards what I want, what feels good to me. Maybe you're putting yourself first for the first time in your life and you're being blessed for it. That's what it is, huh, Taurus? You got a surprise coming in that you are going to be celebrating. And I feel like the surprise isn't something specific. I feel like the surprise is the shift that takes place. You're going to be thinking different. You are going to be acting different. You are, you are going to be meeting new like-minded people, like your friend circles are going to change. Your, your, um, possibly even your place of work is going to change. You've got love coming in. So I don't know if, if you're single, I mean, you can expect to meet somebody and this is your, your forever person that you're meeting. This is soulmate energy. This is long-term energy. This is a beautiful, healthy, stable relationship. This is the one that you're meant for in this lifetime. And that's not to say that if you're in a partnership, you need to leave it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is for those of you who are looking for love, get ready because this is the one that you are meant to be with. <laughs> you can't. You heard me. I just said. <laughs> Did not pull these cards myself. They jumped out for you. You've been alone. You've been in isolation. It's time for you to come out of isolation, Taurus. It's time for you to come out into the light and be seen. You're not holding back anymore. You're following, you're following your light and you're stepping into the light. And the light likes you. It brings you everything that is destined for you, and that's love, money, whatever. It's all coming together for you. And I feel like, Taurus, you're super, super uh, powerful with your intuition. You're very intuitive. And I feel like you've, you've felt this all along, but it's like you've been waiting. And you didn't know, like, when it, it's all going to happen. But everything is now coming together for you. You've been waiting. You've been doubting, too. You've been in all this conflict and doubt. And now it's all coming together for you. This is exciting, Taurus. Be sure you comment below and let me know when these things start happening. Because for some of you, it's already happening. And um, I'm excited. I want to hear about it. So don't forget. <laughs> okay? And watch your other placements to get a full picture and more information. And I'll see you in the next reading, Taurus. Get excited.